says drill resharpening machine capacity from diameter 2 mm up to 20 mm. For 2 mm up to 13 mm, we have this collet chart that will be housing ER20 collets. ER20 collets for 2 mm through 13 mm, and from 14 mm up to 20 mm, there are ER25 collets. So now let us say this is drill diameter 10.5 mm. For drill diameter 10.5 mm, we will select a collet which will compress from 11 mm up to 10 mm. So diameter ER20 diameter 11 mm collet for 10.5 diameter drill. So let us say this is the collet chuck. We open the collet chuck. This is the neck of the collet. Fix the collet. Engage two or three threads. Then we will put it on the tool setting fixture. So we will set the collet chuck like this. This slot has to be parallel to this top surface. Set it like this. Then here we will adjust the diameter to 10.5 mm. In between 10 and 11 mm, this is 10.5 mm. And finally, in the end, we will put the drill and we will butt it in here in the end in the z-axis and also move it clockwise direction. So let us say this is pre-setting of the distance from the cam to the wheel. This is the cam and this is the wheel. So, so what we are doing is we will be setting the distance from the cam up to the wheel. Okay, let us tighten this. So we have tightened this properly. The wheel. This is the cam. And this is the wheel. So, so what we are doing is we will be setting the distance from the cam up to the wheel. Okay, let us tighten this. So we have tightened this properly. I am leaving this open only for demonstration purpose. Under all circumstances, we should always keep it closed because this wheel is very abrasive. If the finger touches the wheel when in motion, then it will cut it, cut it off. Please ensure safety at all times. Now, what we have to do, this is the cam. Bring it over here. This is set at 180 degree included angle. All we can do is loosen the Allen key over here and adjust the included angle from 90 degree up to 140 degree with this arrow. So this is currently set at 118 degree angle. Now you see these two slots and the slot over here. So what we have this shoulders has to fit into the slot. So we will plunge it in like this. It has to move in straight with a very delicate hand like this. Now this is the precise movement of the cam of the the precise movement of the hand which is been encoded into the cam so this is moving forward in circular direction and eccentric all three axes at the same time so let us say after five or six strokes now this surface is touched, this surface is already touched the bottom, so this cannot go in front, so the sound stops. Now what we do is, we pull it out slightly, invert it by 180 degree, and again sec repeat the second operation on the second side. So now if you see, the drill has been ground at 118 degree included angle. This is like the grinding is like a new drill. Now what we will do is we will do the clearance and the web thinning. Now there is no web if you see, there is no web thinning. Now we will do the web thinning by plunging it from the top. So we will plunge it over here. Hmm. 
This is the first flute. Again, reverse it. So, you saw the difference, sir. This is the self-centering geometry which has been achieved by web thinning and the clearance that has been achieved by plunging it on the top. So, this is the geometry what we get in solid carbide resist down nowadays. 118 degrees clearance angle for chip evacuation as well as web.